Hey guys, Pro 1701 here, and today we have a couple unboxings today. We have a very thin one. I have no idea what this is. It's got labels on both sides, so I don't want to just show those off. Uh, I don't know who, who sent it. It's from, uh, I think it's from, yeah, it's from the United Kingdom. Uh, not a place I'm familiar with, but uh, that's it's from the United Kingdom, so that's, that's fair. Uh, but it's like, it's like really thin. I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's like a magazine or a comic book. I don't know that that's the first one. We'll uh, get into it first. There's a second one, I believe, from Fly Attractor. Uh, I'm going to be really careful trying to get into this. I'm going to slowly cut this here. What is this? We have, hey, this looks like an old magazine, um, Starburst. I know Starburst is a candy, not a magazine. That's awesome with Sylvester McCoy, E.T., Commando. I love Commando, by the way. I love Commando. I have this on Blu-ray with Who Framed Roger Rabbit on the back. That's pretty awesome. Uh... Got some RoboCop and Commando here. Oh, this is a cool picture. That right there. This looks like it's been around for a while. Like, late 80s. That's pretty cool. This is going to be a fun read. More pictures here. That is uh, Ben and John Nathan Turner there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Pamela Salem assists the doctor. Shades of the Pertwee days. I don't know what that means. This is going to be a fun read. Coming soon, Leviathan. That's pretty creepy looking. I wonder if that's the movie Leviathan. I remember that. I think that had... Um, Peter Weller, I think, was in Leviathan. There's a lot of them. Yeah, it even mentions that here, The Abyss and uh, Deep uh, Deep Six. I thought it was Deep Star Six, but I guess Deep Six. Remember, there was a lot of underwater ones in 1989, I believe it was. That's some pretty cool stuff right here. This is going to be an interesting, an interesting read. Um, Money Bound. I'm not familiar with that one. TV Zone. All right. Ah, the animated Star Trek. That'll be a good read. I love Star Trek, the animated series. I just have to admit Paul's ranking was wrong when Paul was ranking the Star Trek series. He had animated series at the bottom. And he also had the original series second from the bottom, and I had to stop watching at that point. Love Paul's videos, but I had to stop watching. Because I love the animated series and the original series. That's pretty neat. I'm not actually sure who sent that, but... I certainly appreciate them sending that. That's cool. That's going to be a fun read. I have to do a review on that at some point. And then we have one, uh, which looks like it's from Fly Attractor. It feels like a lot of books. He does tend to send me a good amount of books. And this is probably going to be the easiest one to get into he's ever sent me. Matter of fact, it looks like it's already even got a tear in it for me. Yay, the Postal Service. Looks like magazines and books. Oh, I hope this one's what I think it is. Oh, yes. Assimilation Squared. Assimilation Squared. I've always wanted to read Assimilation Squared. I've seen bits and pieces of it. The crossover between the 11th Doctor and Star Trek The Next Generation with the Cybermen and the Borg. I've always wanted to look at that. There's number one. There's number two. There's number three with the original series. I do know there's a flashback with the original series meets the fourth Doctor. That's pretty cool. And number four. Yeah, that's going to be a fun read. I'll be, re I'll definitely be doing reviews for this. Uh, number five. Matter of fact, I think in the comic, it's the TARDIS that leads to the events of First Contact when the board are exploring time travel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. How, how many issues was this? 
That is pretty neat. Oh, with some Transformers on the back. That's cool. I didn't. I don't know how many issues this is. Seven. Is this the last one? The Menace of the Cyber Controller. That's cool. Prisoners of Time. And something else here. We have IDW Doctor Who Special 2012. And there's something else tucked in here. The novelization of The Underwater Menace, which I will read after I watch the animation, actually. That'll be a fun, fun read. Nice. Oh, I'm looking forward to diving into the, uh, the crossover. I'm so looking forward to diving into that. You know, I appreciate it, Fly Attractor. He's been a huge supporter of the channel. He's also one of my patrons on Patreon. Uh, definitely looking forward to diving into those. And, and I definitely appreciate who sent the, uh, Starburst one as well. That's going to be a fun, fun read. Give me something to do. Uh, I think when I'm, I've got a day off this weekend, I think that'll be something fun to go over and maybe do a review of. So I certainly appreciate uh, both of these packages. Really excited about them. If there's anything you would like to send me, my P.O. box is down in the description below. I certainly appreciate everything everyone has sent over the past couple of years. It really means a lot. Um, if you would like to support me on Patreon, there's a link that there's a link to that down there as well. Fly Tracker is also one of my patrons. I appreciate his support, and of course, some of my top tier patrons, Colin Coney, Finn Perkins, and uh, Stephen Crane. I appreciate their support as I do the support of all of my patrons. Uh, I have YouTube memberships available. I'm just starting that, so I'm still working out the kinks, but those are available. Uh, Christopher Johnson joined that recently, which I appreciate. And a link to my Amazon wish list is down there as well. And don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Most importantly, thank you for watching.